What's up, ladies and gents? Greg M here. Watching the World Championships um, previous um, races. I'm waiting for the, the semi-finals to see who's going to be who, you know, separate the men from the boys. I'm watching you and Blake. Let me watch this race again. You and Blake, uh, he, eased, he eased up. He eased up. Uh, he's, he looks strong. Don't look as smooth as he normally does, but maybe because he's trying to not run and dispel too much energy. But guys, who do you think gonna run the? I mean, who's gonna win the the men's hundred meter? Fred Curley, Bromel looking good, and then we got young Oblique Seville from Jamaica. Johan Blake, I mean, didn't look too bad, you know. Your auto bowling said didn't look good at all, but yeah, watching this again, you know, he, he looks good, but he looks strong. He just look like he's trying, you know. Sometimes when you're trying to just take it easy. And not use too much energy, you don't look good. But you have to be careful you don't run yourself out of the, the race either. You know, you don't want to run so easy that you know you mess up. You remember, remember Sharika Jackson? But um they're doing the replays, but uh Curly looked good. I mean in in, in came out good dry phase, his top end speed man looking good, he looked easy, just Turning over, driving through and look relaxed and run 979. Uh, it doesn't look like he was using that much energy, but he may have been running hard. I mean, 979 is not easy running, even though it look easy. So let's hope he didn't push it too hard, but the other guys are taking it easy. Marcel Jacobs. Yeah, well, second behind Oblique Seville, so you know, interview him, he says he's trying to make it through the rounds. But what y'all think, gentlemen? We'll know who's going to be who after the semifinals. Will they repeat? Will, will Curly repeat and run even faster? If Curly stays consistent and he repeats, I think Curly will do it with a 9, 6, 7. Not, uh, Oblique Seville, he could be in there, man. He looks, he looks good. He could... Come back in there and run a 9-7-2 and defeat Bromel. Because Bromel is looking kind of cocky and very confident. Especially of the year he had before. He's trying to make up for that and send a message. But hey guys, uh, what do you think? Um, Curly to Oblique Seville to Bromel. Or uh, will Christian Coleman, Coleman come back and shut everybody up and say, Look, y'all try to rule me out. Here I am. And take it again. You know what I'm saying? Because he's hungry after, you know, coming back from a whereabouts ban and he has something to prove. You come clean, you know, skip no test this time. So, well, I want to see everybody the good. The women supposed to run the heats too. So, what y'all think? I'm going to come back. I just wanted to do this quick video. I'm, I'm watching the races. Um, You know, Sim being from South Africa was a bit surprised. He didn't make it. Um... What's his name from um, from Canada? Wasn't looking bad in the hundred. He kind of he still had to run hard though. But um, we'll see. We'll see what happened. Um, so what y'all think? Any, any prediction yet? Are y'all waiting until the semifinals? I'm gonna come back after the semifinals. We're gonna watch the women too. You know, like I said, I gave in and subscribed to YouTube TV so I can watch the race live instead of waiting on it to come on YouTube after the events. And um, it's going, yeah, it's going to be some good competition. But anyway, that's it for now. You know, let's touch back base later and we can discuss what's what, you know, how the events look going into the men's 100 meter finals. Then we'll take, take bets again. All right. I'm out for